टुडे यू विल डिस्कस कोरेट स्कोर इन कोविड 19 इलनेस व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ सीटी चेस्ट सीवेरिटी स्कोर इन कोविड 19 इलनेस और इन कोरोना पॉजिटिव पेशेंट्स इन इंट्रोडक्शन कोविड 19 डिसीज इज कॉज्ड बाय सार्स कोविड वायरस 2 वी ऑल नो दैट वी नो द साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ कोविड 19 इलनेस दैट it starts with fever body ache dry cough sore throat difficulty in breathing fatigue weakness or in some patients there is a loss of taste loss of smell in some patients there is a diarrhea and many more means that symptom will vary from patient to patient or person to person but the important thing that we have to correlate these signs and symptom with the ct chest we have to correlate these signs and symptom with the ct chest and that is the corat score so corat's classification is a standardized reporting system for patients with suspected covid-19 infection corat classification is a standardized reporting system for a patient with a suspected covid-19 infection in a suspected covid-19 infection ct chest plays a very important role it is developed for the moderate to high prevalence setting now what is this corat's classification corat's classification based on the ct findings level of suspicion of a covid-19 infection is graded level of suspicion means when the corat score is 1 the chances of covid 19 illness is very low when the corat score is 5 the chances of covid illness is very high means the severity of ct chest score is very important or the number or the score of ct chest is very important that's why we call it as a corat score classification it shows or it indicates the level of suspicion of covid-19 infection the severity and the stage of disease is determined with remarks on comorbidity the important thing severity and the stage of disease the severity of your illness and stage of the disease means symptoms that has been started for fifth day fourth day or uh, seventh day of exposure and the important thing about the comorbidity in covid 19 illness it comorbidity plays very important role comorbidity is like hypertension diabetes pre existing heart disease so the importance of comorbidities in covid 19 illness all these comorbid patients they have very high mortality rate they have very high mortality rate so the severity and the stage of disease and apart from that there is a remark on comorbidity is very important so corad score 1 has very high negative predictive value when it is 1 high negative predictive value in patients with complaints for more than 4 days after exposure with the positive patient or after contact with the positive patient or after starting with the symptoms when corat score is 1 and it shows very high negative predictive value when corat score is 5 it shows very high probability of the covid 19 illness and high chance of covid 19 epidemic or pandemic but the when corat score is between 2 and 4 when it is between 2 to 4 it is still high but it has a poor negative and predictive value it has a poor negative and predictive value because there is a inter observer variation in corat score 2 to 4 it may or may not be so we'll see the interpretation of ct findings how will you interpret the ct findings you have to correlate with the clinical symptoms and the duration of symptoms how will you correlate corat score you have to correlate ct findings with the clinical symptoms and duration of symptoms two things are important 
clinical symptoms and duration of symptoms as CT can be negative in first few days of mild infection. And there is a problem with the CT chest. CT can be negative in first few days of mild infection. Now what, the, what is this CORAT score 1? CORAT score 1 when it is CT uh, score is only 1, COVID-19 illness is highly unlikely. There is very less chances of COVID-19 illness. Or we can say CT is normal. When CT chest is normal, there are findings that indicate non-infectious remarks other than COVID-19 illness. There is a non-infectious remarks in CT chest. An exception has to be made for the first few days of a mild infection when the chest, uh, CT chest can be normal. Means there are few exceptions for that. Few exceptions like in first few days of infection, in mild infection, CT chest can be normal. Right? So CT image of a patient with a complaining of symptoms with 5 days of infection and as you can see, the CT image of a patient, the CT image of a patient as you can see over here, with complaints for 5 days, is complaining of breathlessness, fever, dry cough, but still there is no abnormalities in the CT chest and PCR was negative. PCR was negative and there is no abnormalities in the CT chest. Right? This was, this is the CORAT score 1. Now CORAT score 2. Level of suspicion of COVID-19 illness is still low. Level of suspicion is still low. Findings consistent with the other infections like typical bronchiolitis means you have to now do a differential diagnosis. Findings consistent with the other infections like bronchiolitis or thickened bronchus wall but there is no typical signs of COVID-19. There is no typical signs of COVID-19. As you can see in the CT image there is a bronchioctasis there is a bronchioctasis bronchial wall get thickened bronchial walls get thickened and there is no ground gloss appearance or no ground gloss opacities in the CT chest so level of suspicion is very low then CORAT score 3 now there are four cases as you can see COVID-19 may be unsure or indeterminate you cannot say whether it is positive or negative because it is unsure or indeterminate when CORAT score is 3 when CORAT score is 3 we can say COVID-19 is unsure or indeterminate CT abnormalities indicates infection. It indicates infection but unsure whether COVID-19 is present or not. It may look like widespread bronchopneumonia or lobar pneumonia or septic emboli with ground glass opacities as you can see in these four cases. So in these four cases, in case one, one day complaint in CT chest it shows unifocal ground glass appearance but PCR is negative. PCR is negative. In case 2, there is a unifocal ground glass opacities. There is a unifocal ground glass opacities. In case 3, as you can see in the arrows, unifocal ground glass opacities and in same with the case 4. But in CORAD score 3, whether there is a presence of ground glass opacities but we cannot say that there is a chance of COVID-19 illness means we are not sure there is indeterminate uh, chances of COVID-19 illness but CT abnormality shows infection it may be bronchopneumonia it may be lobar pneumonia and there is a presence of ground glass opacities. Now CORAT score 4. Level of suspicion is high. Level of suspicion is high. Mostly these are suspicious CT findings with 
but not extremely typical. They are not extremely typical, but level of suspicion is high. There is a unilateral uh, ground glass opacities, multifocal consolidations without any other typical finding. But you have to correlate with the clinical symptoms and duration of symptoms as I said earlier. Unilateral ground glass appearance, multifocal consolidations with, without any other typical finding. Finding suspicious of COVID-19 is underlying pulmonary disease. So in the case one, there is seven days of complaint. CT shows unilateral areas of ground glass appearance. CT shows unilateral appearance of the ground glass appearance in the left upper lobe. But PCR is positive. Here the PCR is positive and in the second case bilateral ground glass appearance bilateral ground glass appearance in a patient with emphysema and in both cases PCR is positive. RT-PCR is positive in both cases. So in CORAT score 4 the level of suspicion is very high. Level of suspicion is very high. Mostly these are the suspicious CT findings unilateral ground course opacities, multifocal consolidations. So, chances of COVID-19 illness is very high. Now, CORAT score 5. Now, when it is CORAT score 5, there is a multifocal ground gloss opacities with consolidation in case 1. In case 2, as you can see, there is a 10 days of complaint. CT shows bilateral multifocal ground gloss opacities. There is a vascular thickening. There is a vascular thickening, subpleural bands, as you can see, subpleural bands, vascular thickening, bilateral ground glass opacities, and there is a PCR is positive. In case 3, as you can see, in case 3, 11 days of complaints, CT shows bilateral ground glass opacities, bilateral ground glass opacities, there is a multifocal consolidation, basal preference, vascular thickening and in case 3 again there is a RT-PCR is positive. So as CORAT score is 5, there is a very high chances, very much high chances of COVID-19 illness and lastly this is the CORAD score 6. When CORAT score is 6, there is no doubt, patient with a positive RT-PCR and bilateral ground glass opacities, bilateral ground glass opacities and note you can see the halo sign, there is a halo sign here, as you can see, there is a halo sign, means there is a development of pneumonia. There is a development of ground glass opalities bilaterally and it is a clear cut case of COVID-19 illness. So, this is the level of suspicion of COVID-19 infection that you have to correlate with the CT chest. Means when there is a CORAT score is 1, the level of suspicion is, we can say, there is no any symptoms of COVID-19 illness. CT chest is normal or there is a chances of non-infectious abnormalities. Non-infectious abnormalities. When CORAT score is 2, very low chances of COVID-19 illness. But CT chest shows abnormalities consistent with the infections other than COVID-19. Abnormalities consistent with the infections other than COVID-19 that is the bronchiolitis. Bronchiolitis. When CORAT score is 3, indeterminate or unsure, you are not sure about that or indeterminate, unclear whether COVID-19 positive or negative, whether it is present or absent. When CORAT score is 4, there is very high chances of suspicious for the COVID-19 illness. And when CORAT score is 5, or we can say when CORAT score is 5, there is very high chances of typical COVID-19 illness. There is a very high chance of typical COVID-19 illness. And when CORAT score is 6, and there is no doubt at all, the PCR, RT-PCR will get positive. That is the 
reverse transcripted polymerase chain reaction is positive and that's how we have to correlate all these CT findings with the clinical symptoms and after that the duration of the symptoms. So this is all about CORAT score.